Well, hey everyone, so we've brought in some earthquake data um, that you see on the map here. It, it's symbolized uh, in three different categories, okay, with different coloring and sim symbols. What I want to do is make this into kind of a user-friendly uh, scene to view that can be shared via the web. Now, um, just a couple notes. I'm signed in to ArcGIS Online, okay, so I've signed in using my credentials to our organization and I have our project up that we looked at previously. Um, now we want to make this into a web scene uh, which I think will look pretty cool if, if we can get it to go right. So first thing let's do, let's come over and let's insert a new scene. Okay, um, add that to the project and this starts to generate and, and scenes are neat we have a little globe to work from that you see here okay and and you can kind of rotate yourself around and just kind of move the world uh, with your mouse um, I'm gonna come in let's add our points that we created they're stored in our geo database they should be correctly projected now so I'm gonna add those points to the map and it sends me into Utah Now as you look at this, boy, they're really faded where it's using a kind of a grayish color. Let me change it to be a red color. You'll notice that the symbology stayed with the map, okay, is like a property or attribute of the map, not necessarily a, a property or attribute of the layer itself. Okay, so so that's kind of important to remember. So if I want to have the symbology be similar to what it was, I'm going to, well, I have to kind of re rework what we did. Um, so let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to break this into three classes again, and I want to break magnitude into those classes. It breaks down the same way as it did before, which I like. This time I'm really going to blow up our points a little bit, but keep the same coloring scheme. So I'm going to start with 7 on the small end, apply that, uh, come back, and work on the next. We'll make it orange again, and I think I'll take it up to 9, apply that, come back to the larger magnitudes that we felt, go red, and I'm going to go to 11 and I'll apply that. Okay, so symbology now, this symbology would then, following the same pattern, is linked to our scene, okay, and tied to our scene. Okay, uh, what else would we like to change? Let's go ahead, let's rotate ourselves around, kind of get a different view of, of our earthquakes. It's kind of fun to see the horizon off to the back there. Um, and let's just change our base map. I think it'd be fun to see imagery. Okay, because I think it'll be somewhat recognizable as we uh, see some of the land features okay, of southern Utah, as well as the Great Salt Lake up here to the north. Um, Utah Lake, and we can kind of picture where these locations are. And I think this looks good. I can rotate around, kind of get us a good position that, that we might like. Okay, now, um, again, we wanted to make this shareable and make it so that we could send a link to someone and they could quickly look over and see where these earthquakes that were felt in the state of Utah in 2018, where were they located. So um, I'm just going to save the project so that the scene is part of part of that I'm going to come over to share now since I've signed in okay I can share things uh, through ArcGIS online through our organization so I'm going to create a web scene of this I'm going to click on that and then come over here and start to look over what we need to include so the name of this we'll call this earthquakes Utah 2018. Okay. And for a summary, this is a 
web scene showing the locations and magnitudes of felt earthquakes in Utah in 2018. Okay, and then for tags, we're going to do Utah uh, earthquake and Snow College always. And who I'm going to save this with? Um, definitely going to save it with our group, our class. Okay, and let's go ahead and make sure this is going to work. Okay, later does not have a feature template set. It's a warning, which warnings are, are um, valuable for us to take note of, um, but they won't impede us from sharing things. Uh, so I'm going to share this. Okay, so we've successfully shared this web scene. Um, so that's great. Let's go ahead and bring ArcGIS Online over. Now I've already signed in. Okay, so I went to ArcGIS.com, signed in, and right at the top of the list when I'm on my content, I see Earthquakes 2018, the web scene. So let me click on it. And here we are. Okay, so here's the web scene. Um, it says, hey, do you want to open this in Pro? Do you want to create a web app from this or open in Scene Viewer? Let's open it in Scene Viewer. And then from here, um, you can kind of see what we have. Uh, again, we're only in a browser. Um, we can kind of move ourselves about, zooming in and out, and as I'm using different buttons on my mouse, uh, kind of rotate, uh, pan, and zoom. Um, I can click over here on legend, and again, the legend shows what we're seeing here. Um, I can click on this modify scene button. When you get that, you'll see that um, uh, we have an ability to kind of edit what the default view is as you jump into this. So I'm going to come, I'm going to rotate us down to the horizon right here. And first off, I'm going to come to slides and capture a slide. Now you'll see what this does in just a moment. The slide appears down here below. And I'm just going to create a couple slides. So I'm going to come and zoom into this quake that was down near St. George. Kind of rotate myself about a little bit to see where it's at. And capture another slide. Then I'm going to come over to kind of this region down here near Beaver. Where we have a few of these. Capture another slide. And you know what? Let me name this Beaver Area. I'm going to name this one as well. St. George area and overview. Okay, and then finally I'm going to come down these three that were near Loa. Yeah, capture this and say this is Loa Quakes. Okay, and I'm going to say done on that and save the scene. It asks if there's any update to the tags or, or the description. I click save. Now what I really am kind of excited about with this is I can now click on 
these different slides that we captured and it zooms us around to anywhere where we were. This is a great way to share information. Now to share it, to share it I can come in to this little share tab. I could create a web map from it or I can just share this link. So by copying this link I can email it to someone, even text it. Uh, they're able to view it even on their phone and kind of work their way through the scene. Now if they weren't the creator of this scene, they won't be able to edit or like manipulate it in any way. Um, you need to share the ability to do that with them. But they will be able to, even just from here, measure a few things like, oh, what's the distance from that quake to that quake, uh, epicenter to epicenter, 0.37 miles, okay, so a third of a mile. Um, they're able to measure things, uh, do a new measurement. We can click out of that. They can even change the base map if they'd like. So maybe they want to stick with terrain and just use kind of a terrain map. Um, all of that is within their ability when you share it and definitely within your ability. However, for you, if you come and click save, that now is the new default. Um, I hope this has been helpful to you and we'll pick it up next time. Thank you.